This is a special update in consideration of our present world pandemic. For the next 20 minutes, we will review the coronavirus, also known as COVID-19, and the dental office preparedness protocols. Please also see our website for current updates and useful tools. By now, we are all well aware that the symptoms of the coronavirus are fever, dry cough, body aches, headache, and shortness of breath. But they may not all manifest in an infectious individual. The virus is spread through respiratory droplets, if within six feet of an infected person. Coronavirus is secondarily spread through surface contact and inoculation to mouth, nose, or eyes. It can live on surfaces and can spread for 2 to 14 days. The workplace effects of COVID-19 range from fear and panic to misunderstanding and negligence, employee absenteeism, patient cancellations, lack or limited supply of personal protective equipment from suppliers, more risky workplace conditions, decrease in fiscal stream, and more. The sources of COVID-19 come from circulation with the general public, customers, co-workers, sick individuals, international travelers, and healthcare workers with unprotected coronavirus exposures. Employee and patient risk factors include individuals who are over 70 years of age, have chronic medical conditions, are immunocompromised, pregnant, those who have recently traveled internationally, and those who are exhibiting coronavirus symptoms. But we must consider all individuals as being possibly contagious, as the C19 symptoms do not always manifest. Non-occupational risk factors include community exposures and family members with unprotected coronavirus exposures. The classification of dental professional exposures to COVID-19 are as follows. There is a high to very high risk factor for dentists, hygienists, and dental assistants performing aerosol-generating procedures or invasive specimen collections on known or suspected coronavirus-positive patients. There poses a medium exposure risk to receptionists, office managers, and administrators whose jobs require frequent and or close contact within six feet of people or patients who may be infected with or suspected to have the coronavirus. There is a lower exposure risk to administrators and personnel that have minimal occupational contact with the general public or other co-workers and do not have close proximity contact with the people known to be or suspected of being COVID positive patients. With that being said, regardless of your state's current dental office open for business policy mandate, the American Dental Association's standard of care for all USA dental offices is to postpone elective dental care procedures and concentrate on emergency dental care only during the active COVID-19 pandemic time frame. Please check back with the ADA or your local dental association's website for lifts on this ban. Let's face it, aside from normal dental phobias, coronavirus may surely bring new and additional fears from your patients, like the fear of catching COVID-19 while at your dental office. During this transitional time, it's even more important to keep your team's focus on infection control and disease prevention efforts. Let's consider coronavirus smart guidelines for your dental practice and the things you'll want to do as you transition through this pandemic. First, keep a close eye on virus updates to follow the CDC, ADA, OSHA, and World Health Organization's latest guidance and check in on the Dental Enhancements website. We also post useful tools that you can download and use for free.
Remember to wash your hands whenever they're soiled and wash for 20 seconds. Keep in mind that damp hands spread germs a thousand times more than dry hands, so dry your hands thoroughly. Also, hand sanitizers are not a substitute for hand washing at work. Follow the newly updated OSHA CDC infection control and housekeeping requirements with diligence. Wear all PPE appropriately and follow the CDC and OSHA mandates to wear one mask per patient. As supplies are so limited, try purchasing from as many suppliers as possible. Continually check and reorder. Suit up, wear the maximum protective PPE, such as face visors, masks, eyewear with side shields, hair caps, and full-length surgical gowns. Wash lab coats and scrubs at work if possible, and use disposable lab coats if possible. While OSHA requirements limit soft biomedical waste to saturated items, now is a good time to implement the best practices for COVID-19 and toss all of your splattered, soiled waste into your biomedical waste red bags to maximize your safety. Please confirm patient wellness prior to their appointments and post appropriate coronavirus signs. Check out the Dental Enhancements website for useful signs that you can post in your reception area and outside entryways that will help control patient flow and confirm, monitor their coronavirus risk factors. Showcase your infection control practices. Many mandates are new. Update your OSHA training sooner than later and implement new protocols. Patients and employees will notice and appreciate your commitment to safety. Now here's the skinny on what not to do with regards to the coronavirus. Don't ignore updates. Don't ignore infection control. Instead, unify and exhibit pride in your infection control efforts. All eyes will definitely be on healthcare facilities during and after this pandemic. Don't miss out on your regularly scheduled OSHA updates. New information and requirements will be the responsibility of every dental practice owner and employee. Look to dental enhancements to help you update required paperwork and protocols. Don't take shortcuts with hand washing, personal protective equipment, or infection control. Be hyper vigilant. Don't reuse PPE if it's disposable. Don't come to work if you're feeling sick, and obviously, you will need to establish written and verbal criteria for screening all patients, screen these patients well, and don't treat sick patients. We understand that employers are facing unexpected challenges in relation to the coronavirus. While the common cold and flu are not expected to be recorded by employers, OSHA does expect that employers identify COVID-19 positive infection cases among employees. Use OSHA Form 300, 300A, located in the back of the Dental Enhancements OSHA Manual or hanging on the wall by your posters for recording such instances. Report these situations to your local OSHA agency and other applicable state agencies within 48 hours of discovery. Most testing centers can assist you with this reporting process. Employees must self-monitor their signs and symptoms of the coronavirus. Employers cannot take employees' temperatures at this juncture. But you can and should be taking the temperature of your patients prior to treating them. This is a part of the routine vital signs examination. OSHA's coronavirus web link has great reminders about implementing current OSHA and infection control rules. Listed here are the details of what is expected from all USA dental facilities. Provisions for making available proper fitting personal protective equipment is critical in this pandemic situation. OSHA, the CDC, and ADA all enforce PPE mandates seriously. Remember, you must be donning one new mask per patient.
Also remember that providing a safe workplace free from hazards or serious harm is part of OSHA's general duties clause and the responsibility of every dental practice owner. OSHA and health department officials will be scrutinizing dental offices to ensure that you adhere strictly to current infection control practices as listed in this document. The CDC's Summary of Infection Prevention Practices for the Dental Setting. This is a 44-page document with 13 updated infection control requirements. This is a main focal point of all dental enhancements OSHA training sessions. Make sure that you have all 13 of these requirements implemented and running smoothly within your facility. You also must have documentation proving that all employees have been trained to this level. If you need help with these, please reach out to us. When implementing OSHA policies, remember to always adopt the strictest policy when comparing federal versus state OSHA laws. 28 states have stricter guidelines. Dental Enhancements clients always have access to our OSHA state laws portal to review and download your state laws easily. Finally, OSHA reminds employers that during this time of pandemic to adhere strictly to the current GHS chemical safety standards to protect employees as they may be using even more chemical disinfectants than usual. Again, use of PPE when handling hazardous chemicals is critical. Don't get overwhelmed. Please visit our website at dentalenhancements.com for current coronavirus updates, useful links, free signs, posters, and cool tools. The Dental Enhancements OSHA and HIPAA coaches are here for you as we navigate through this delicate time. We know that this pandemic situation broods uncertainty with all of us. Keep your focus on infection control requirements and create a written plan for your office's pandemic preparedness protocols. Be sure to include your policies for seeing patients, handling supplies shortages, knowing when to work and when to stay home, how to monitor COVID-19 within your dental practice, Plans for curbing monetary losses, schedule planning and patient screening processes, and team cooperation. Or contact Dental Enhancements to obtain your customizable pandemic preparedness plan template. The OSHA Compliance Expert Coaches at Dental Enhancements are here to make understanding and implementation of these new requirements streamlined and easy for you. Ask your Benco representative to arrange a discovery phone consultation. A dental enhancements advisor will assess your current OSHA and infection control status should you have interest in updating and streamlining your dental office compliance solutions.